So what is up guys, it is Nisho here and today I got you guys another deck profile of uh, a deck that I really liked for a long time and uh, now that the OCG has some more support for it, um, it is interesting to see new and innovative builds using modern cards and you know as you can see I'm talking about Six Samurai which before I would have preferred to as a legendary Six Samurai but now we call them the Shadow Six Samurai because of the new support. So this is a Shadow Six Samurai True Draco deck. True King slash True Draco. Um, sounds pretty stupid at first, but um, let's just, <laughs> uh, I'm sure you'll start to understand once we get into all the combos. So starting off with the True Kings, um, first is a Lithoshajim, uh, I can never say his name correctly. Um, so he's a true king where you pop two earths or pop two monsters and one of them has to be an earth and if both are earth then you banish three um monsters you look at your opponent's action that can banish three monsters uh face down or oh, face down or is it just in general i don't know it's just all i know is that they get banished so uh yeah and then if he's destroyed by a card effect you special summon a worm type monster from your graveyard except another uh except the earth type so um, he's nice for bringing back monsters um, in case that ever needs to be, or in case that's ever the situation. So next we have uh, Mariam, the True Draco Phoenix, which honestly I don't know why they named it a True Draco. It has the uh, it has the effects of a True King monster, but they still decided to name it a True Draco. I don't know why. And every single True King support card um, or True Draco support card says True King and slash or True Draco. Um, so, it, it really wasn't a point to call her to Draco. But, anyway, uh, so she pops uh, two Earth, I mean two Wind. Uh, I just said two Earth. Um, and with the two Wind, um, I think she gets to add a Wind-type monster from your deck to your hand. If you pop two. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. You get to add a Wind-type to your hand. But, uh... And then if she's destroyed by a card effect, um, you get to uh, add a worm type monster from your deck to your hand, uh, except for a wind type, I'm pretty sure. So not the worst thing ever, but uh, in this deck, I don't really see too much of a point for it. I guess it's because it's, they're all true kings and you want as many as possible. So next we do have the, um, I don't even know his name, the water one. You'll, you'll be seeing it on screen. Uh, so he pops two waters to, uh, and when he's summoned, he gets to banish the spell trap card on the field. He has 3,000 defense, so he doesn't have that much attack. He only has 19, but um, it's, it's not the worst in terms of attack, but I don't think you would summon him in attack mode most times, you know, unless you could literally go for game. And then his, I think his is a special summon from the deck. I'm not sure. You'll be seeing it on the screen. I, I don't think it's too relevant, but um, in case it is, uh, you'll be seeing the effects. So next we do have ourselves a masterpiece, only at one because it is limited in the OCG after July 1st. Masterpiece and uh, Draconic Diagram did take um, giant L's, so <laughs> they both got a hit down to one. So yeah, still the most broken True Draco card, but you know, we can only play him at one now, so. Next, we have the triple Kizan and double Kizaru. So, Kizan himself, he's just, he can control six samurai, special summon them. And then if you got control two others with different names, and he gains 300. Uh, Kizaru is, if you, if he's special summoned, um, you get to add a six samurai monster from your deck to your hand, but it has to be a monster with a different attribute than the ones that you control. So since he's an Earth by default, you cannot search keys on with him, which I think is real bad card design. <laughs> they they, they, they could have made it synergize better, but um, he can still search just about any other six samurai monster. So it's not the worst thing in the world. And uh, um, if a six samurai card, you can, no. Is it card or is it monster? I think it's, actually, yeah, I, I think it's card. If a six samurai card you control would be destroyed, you can destroy, uh, you can banish him from the graveyard instead. 
that's what all the six uh, shadow six amaris do uh next we do have the triple um i forgot his name as well uh fuma there you go fuma shuriken and so what fuma does fuma is kind of what ties this deck together because um he's kind of like the baby dinosaur of this deck so what he does is that uh, when he's destroyed by a card effect you special summon a level four lower six armor monster from your deck it helps that he's also a level one tuner so um not only can he be easily bring, bring out with uh, Shein's Dojo, which we do have here, but also he can, um, you know, also be useful if he's used for uh, Destruction Father. And also he has a graveyard effect where if, you know, six time my card control will be destroyed, you can banish him instead. Now it only saves one card, so if your board gets regeki while you control two different six time my cards, um, you are, like, you can't use the effect, but, you know, it's not, you know, like that's usually not something that happens often. You know, if, if you have a Shien on board, then, you know, you're still gonna be good. Um, so yeah, uh, the combo with uh, Fuma is that you pop him with one of your true Dracos or Draconic Diagram, and then you, his effect is that you especially him out Kizaru, and then Kizaru would add you another Fuma from your deck to your hand. Um, if he was playing the Dark Level 4 one, what he could do is he could use a Dark Level 4 one. He could normally summon that one out first, and then pop the Fuma using a True Jaco or a Draconic Diagram. Special summon a Kizaru from the deck, um, and then the Dark one, Doji I think his name is. Um, Doji would mill a Six Samurai, and then uh, Fuma would search... No, nah, Fuma. Uh, Kizaru would search something else. Uh, it, it's, you know, that would actually be a, a combo more for mid-game, but it's not, it, it's still pretty decent. You can still get uh, a lot of plays on board because of Fuma, so, yeah, we're just going to keep him around. Next, we have double uh, Hatsume. I assume that's what her name is. I'm, I'm doing this all based on memory, but uh, water level three. So, what she does is... Uh, she banishes two six samurais from your graveyard and you special summon another one. So, um, the cost is kind of steep, but it, she does special summon out any six samurai, like regardless of level, and the effects aren't negated. You summon it in any position you want. So, it does give you that little bit of versatility. So, if you ever do go into a Shien, uh, uh, so now you don't have to really focus too much on playing double edge, you can just use Hatsume and play the deck a little more helmet because before uh, legendary six samurais kind of had to be based on speed because they didn't really have any like too much protection outside of like uh the original six samurai effects and those weren't really the best so uh the plan was kind of just to use gateway and use Shien just to go all out and stop anything in your way but now um the deck is going to be a bit slower but i don't think it's going to be a bad choice so next is one Kenba, I believe his name is. Um, he's a level two fire tuner. And uh, I forgot exactly what he does. Uh, <laughs> I, I literally forgot his effect. I don't know. I don't think it's all that useful, honestly. It's just uh, he himself is a level two uh, tuner for the deck. I, I think that's the only reason why you use him. And he's also a fire type, so he's a different attribute. Um, honestly, I wouldn't run the, the water true Draco. I would probably run the fire one, because that would synergize better with the level two tuner. And I think that would uh, give you better results than uh, playing the water one. But, you know, what do I know? So next is one legendary six samurai Kageki. When he's normal, do you special him another six samurai from your hand? And then, so, you know, usually, it, before it would be a Kagamusha just so you can go to Quick Shien. But you know, since uh, this is true Dracos and we're not really too focused on using our extra deck as much, um, we are still gonna synchro summon, but you know, the whole thing with the extra monster zone, uh, it kinda just makes you wanna take a step back and say, you know what, may maybe you know I shouldn't overextend with my synchros or exceeds or whatever. So we're keeping it simple. And uh if you control another six samurai with a different name, 
he gains 1500 attack. Now he only has 200 uh, original attack, so he would go up to 1700. If you use the six samurai exceed, you can get them up to 3500. But this guy doesn't use the six samurai exceed, so yeah. No Gofu either. I would kind of expect a Gofu if you're playing all these true Draco cards. Um, just because, you know, you can use the, like, uh, you can use, like, one of the tokens as, like, a destruction fodder in case you, you know, don't have enough monsters or something. You know what I'm saying? So, going into the spells, we have one Rota and triple Shien Smoke Signal. So, Rota is at a level 4 lower warrior, and Smoke Signal is at a level 3 a lower 6 samurai monster. So, um, it's nice that it's at 3. But I feel like Rhoda is always going to be more, um, more important. Now, uh, Six Samurai is one of those combo decks where I feel like before they really did rely on their, their top deck if you didn't get the gateway combo out. And so what I used to do is I, I always used to play my board, right? And if I had a Rhoda that I didn't need, I would set it and save it for next turn because, um, if, if I would usually, and then after the next turn, I would activate Rota and search a six samurai monster based on what my opponent did. So, if I needed uh, an Ishi to get rid of a problem monster, I, I would search an Ishi. If I needed a uh, Kizan to just have more offense on board, I would go into Kizan. You know what I'm saying? If I needed a tuner, I would go into Kagamusha. So, or if I needed to get rid of something without you know banishing from grave, I can get like a Zanji. So um, it, it was, it was actually a real nice card for six samurais. It's sad that it's still at one. Um, too many warrior decks would <laughs> become broken, I guess, if it were at three. But um, smoke signal, it's kind of the same thing. It's like if you, if you don't need something off the bat, just save it. Uh, most people, like in most decks, you would want to search before you draw. But in this deck, you want to draw before you search and see what you need before you actually search it because if you search something and then don't use it and it turns out next turn you needed another uh, another card you know you're kind of going to regret it but you know do you so next we have the one diagram just to search the true kings the, and the true dracos and to pop the fumas as i said earlier and the double terraforming since uh, diagram's only at one, we don't want to overextend it, you know, playing triple terraforming would be a bit much, especially if we draw a diagram first, and it's like, oh, okay, now I have two terraforming set, whose only purpose is to get popped by diagram, you know what I'm saying? When you want to save that diagram pop for Fuma half the time, so, yeah. Next we have, uh, one True Draco Heritage, uh, lets you double summon True Draco monsters, so, Mariam, that counts for her as well, but you're mostly going to use on Masterpiece. Um, and then, uh, once per turn you get to draw for each different, uh, True King or True Draco monster sent to the graveyard this turn, I believe. Um, you'll see the effect on screen, so, um, I don't know if that's 100% correct, but, uh, should be. And then if it's sent from field to grave, you pop a spell trap right on the field, so, uh, not the worst. So, triple gateway and triple Shien's dojo and triple six samurai united now these are the bushido counter cards so gateway not only so for gateways effect you can use bushido counters from anywhere on your side of the field like i used to use dojo temple united uh and gateway you know what i'm saying like not just gateway itself usually uh for gateway to be looped you usually need two of them or two of the other cards that can hold bushido counters and so the gateway loop is a lot easier especially since gateways at three in a deck like this i don't really see it being used too much because uh although link monsters are nice um you know it, it's it's only it's only based on whether you can keep on summoning six samurai monsters eventually you're gonna run dry because um there aren't enough six samurai monsters that you can summon because it, it's gonna get to a point where you're just gonna be looping keys on like because that's gonna be the only one that can summon itself which is why I did say earlier that six, what Six Samurais actually needed was a tuner that can summon itself uh, from the hand. I mean, I'm not saying Fuma is bad, but it's like if we had a tuner that could summon itself, that would have been so freaking perfect. Like, 
<laughs> this deck wouldn't need all this true Draco stuff. But, you know, this is a compromise. So, Gateway gets two counters every time you normal or special summon a six samurai monster. Um, for two counters, you and uh, none of these effects are once per turn, so um, that's why it's considered like a loop. So, for two counters, you can make a six samurai gain 500 attack. So, immediately, just any six samurai that you normal summon or special summon can just gain 500 attack if you feel like spending two counters. For four counters, um, what you do is you search a six samurai from your graveyard or your deck to your hand. And for six uh, counters, which you won't really use in this deck because you don't have any targets, is you special summon a Xi'an monster from your graveyard. Now, that, like, Xi'an as in Xi'an being one word. Um, Legendary Six Samurai Xi'an, the Xi'an is split up. And I think that's done on purpose, just so that you can't summon it with Gateway. It makes sense. Uh, that would have been a bit too broken. So, but yeah, you're going to focus on the 4 and 2 anyway. Um, there are going to be times where if you just have a lot of Bushido counters on your side of the field, you can just power up a freaking um, Xi'an or a Kizan or something up to like as many times as you want because you can just keep pending, spending the two counters and keep making your monster gain 500 attack points each time. So, um, yeah, it is pretty broken in that regard as well. So if you ever run out of counters, like... If you don't, if you, like, if you run out of monsters to search, then, you know, you can always use Gateway for just gaining attack and beating over monsters. So, Xi'an's Dojo, which, uh, before wasn't the best, but now it's kind of got a new purpose thanks to Fuma. So, when you normal summon or special summon a Six Samurai monster, it gains a Bushido counter. Uh, the only problem with Dojo, and the reason why I don't like using it too much, is because you have to attribute Dojo to activate its its second effect which is uh you special summon a six samurai or xian monster from your deck um with a level um equal to or less than the counters that um dojo had on it the bushido counter so if you normally summon one six samurai monster while dojo's on the field it gets one counter you would uh attribute it and special summon now fuma from your deck it's a one for one that's not bad but you see cards like gateway and you see cards like united and you're like Nah, eh, a one for one isn't really the best. You know, it's like we have so many cards that are like so much plus, like two for ones, and or even gateway that's like ten for ones in in like a duel, and uh, a one for one isn't really that attractive. But because of how how good Fuma is and uh, how much it re uh, it requires just to be in your control to have its effect be useful, um, I think Dojo makes sense in this build. Or if you're, if you're going to use Fuma in general, just use Dojo. It's it's a real good card. Um, just, you know, the fact that it's a one-for-one one kind of made it bad before, but now it's like, it, it makes sense. And lastly, we have Six Samurai United, which can get protected by your Shadow Six Samurais in the graveyard. And so what you're doing with United is that every time you norm summon a special summon a monster, um... Uh, normal or special summon a six samurai monster you, you place a bushido counter on it it can only have a maximum of two counters so uh if you're using it with gateway um just make sure that you re always remove the counters from united um if you if you know you can summon out more monsters if you don't if you know you're not going to summon out anything else then just tribute united when you can but just always use uh, counters from the other six samurai cards first if you're using the gateway combo and you know uh so gate so united can draw you two cards at most and it's like although you have to summon two monsters with like something like gateway or even with like kageki or kizan that really isn't that hard and uh something that just to take note of although it, it won't be a problem in this deck but if you're gonna play double-edged sword technique just remember you only get one counter because um it's treated as one summon like you're summoning two or more monsters at the same time with double edge so you only get one counter or with gateway you would only get two not four so yeah so the last two trap cards are true king's return and uh, vanity's emptiness so um it, it's it's kind of easy to forget that the ocg still has uh, vanities um on their side I don't really see it too often, 
I mean, I, I don't really follow the OCG like that, but um, you know, it's still alive over there. And True King's return is just to bring back the True King monsters. It's nothing too special. Um, yeah. And you know, uh, if you you can use the tribute summon during your opponent's turn, and if you do, uh, there you can pop a monster. You know what I'm saying? So next we look at this extra deck and I'm just immediately like, what is going on here? So we do have triple of the Firewall Dragon. That is the alternate art for Firewall Dragon. If you didn't know, um, the Link 4 that came in Code of the Duelist, that's it. So um, I don't really know why. I think he's, his build focuses a lot on Firewall Dragon. It makes sense, but it's, it's not something I would really expect. You know what I'm saying? He can actually make an extra Link in this deck because he's playing Triple Firewall, Gaia Sabers, and Proxy. Um, extra Link wouldn't be too hard. Just have um, guys, like both Gaia Sabers in the Link Zones, uh, Proxy Dragon in the middle zone, and then uh, Firewalls in the zones under the extra monster zones. Uh, Mrs. Radiant is here because you do play Earth. Kizan is very easy to summon, and Kizuru is also easy to summon as well thanks to um, Fuma. Uh, double guy saber one proxy dragon um, they even that, that looks like a proxy <laughs> which is kind of ironic they have a proxy a proxy dragon uh, one legendary six samurai Shien, um, still one of the best synchro monsters in the game just by himself he's not anything to, too special double digusto emerald I guess you're looping your stuff a lot in this deck uh, one number 41 uh, baguska um, one of the best rank fours ever like literally he puts everyone in defense mode uh one a fist dweller to stop grave rat effects although that might hinder your own effects as well um one phantom forces uh into blafner I don't, I don't i forgot his name uh he banishes uh cards from your opponent's field and grave or field in hand i forgot and one true king of all calamities uh the the, the walking floodgate he changes the attributes of all your opponent's monsters, and then you can use your opponent's monsters um, as a destruction fodder for your own true Jacob monsters as well. And he negates the effects of the monsters uh, of that attribute that he declares, and they can't attack. I want to say and one more time, but I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. So, changes their attribute. Um lets you destroy your opponent's monsters for your own true Jacob monsters or true king monsters anyway and um their effects are negated and they can't attack yeah uh lastly we do have a Trish Trish is pretty easy to summon this deck uh since Fuma and Rihan and Kizan and everything uh honestly I kind of expected something to bring back the banished cards as well because if you're using a Hatsume um, and a lot of these Shadow Six Armies they do banish themselves um, I guess you're gonna be focusing on true Dracos half the time as well so focusing on banished cards isn't as important but it's something you can still consider if you decide to play this deck we're not getting the Shadow Six Samurai support until uh, November so this is kind of just like a preemptive list um, just something that you can try on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro or Dueling Book if you want. Um, if not, I mean, you can, you're going to have to replace the Vanities. You can put in, like, a, I don't know, like a Lost Wind, Back to the Front. Honestly, I don't think Vanities is that big of a deal in this deck, but it just might be. You can put in uh, Hand Traps. This is actually one of the first OCG decks I've seen in a long time that has not run Hand Traps, like, at all. I mean, they're, they're probably in the side deck, but I... I just find it funny that uh, I used to say that um, OCG decks usually use a lot of hand traps and this one doesn't like this one barely has any or none at all actually so yeah uh, I guess that's all for this deck for now this was Nistro here hope you guys enjoyed Nistro out light up the world with a little more truth I got a couple more words